So I'm still continuing on with this build, and I've made a shelf in the back to mount the uh, controller to. And I have the battery attached. I ended up buying, uh, based on some recommendations I found on the internet, uh, I think it's number 10, 2 foot or 24 inch uh, uh, threaded pipe or threaded pole. And uh, got some nuts on there. Cut them in half. And I'm using that to hold my 224 uh, volt or 6 cell packs together from a Chevy Volt to make 148 volt pack. And I have some L bracket here holding the battery in place. I had to uh, put some 2x4s in here, unfortunately, so I could lift up the, um, the mounting plate just a bit higher because the plate for mounting the motor is a little bit in the way. So lifting the battery up slightly allows me to fit in there perfectly. I still have clearance. There is no touching. There's all the way forward. And I then decided based on these uh, threaded uh, poles or yeah, threaded poles here and got some eye bolts and put a washer on the inside and screwed that down. So the battery is not going to go anywhere. There is no movement in that battery. I've got my extra. I have a fuse box here or a fuse holder. I got a fuse in there. I got my contactor hooked up. It is not currently uh, completely attached. I don't have any switches or anything turned on right now. So I can't even demonstrate it. Right now, I am taking some time to get the extra wires hooked up to the motor. Basically, I'm trying to get to a point where I can test everything, make sure everything's working, and move on from there. I'm custom making all of these wire loops. So, I'm cutting the heat shrink. I'm taking the uh, lugs here, and I'm making my own ends. And... I'm using my heat gun here to put the heat shrink on. But anyway, uh, it's a work in progress. It's definitely working. I'll see you guys later.